Answer me. Upright father figure to scouts worldwide. We explore his Peter Pan complex. It was a kind of return to boyhood where he could be free. His confused sexuality and latent sadism. The Secret Life of the Boy Man, Baden Powell, tonight at 9 on 4. You're watching Channel 4 and a survival of the quickest in 15 to 1. John Meadows from Gloucester, Jake Wallace from East Grinstead in Sussex, Mel Hardy from Tamworth in Staffordshire, Anne Brown from Wantage in Oxfordshire, Drew Buddy from Rickmansworth in Hertfordshire, Ken Law from Exeter, Christine Tomlinson from Sleaford in Lincolnshire, Jim Stonia from Chatterton in Manchester, Mary Lewis from Shoebury in Essex, Clifford Lawton from Ealing in London, Bill Lamb from Edinburgh, Chris Vickery from Sirencester in Gloucestershire, Ken Little from Wilmslow in Cheshire, Tara Quinn from Wimbledon in London, and David Thornley from Bolton in Lancashire are all here to play 15 to 1. Introduced by William G. Stewart. Thank you. Hello. Our previous winner is Clifford Lawton from Ealing in West London. Welcome back, Clifford. There's the finals board. Yesterday's winner, Richard Weston, is in a precarious position, but today's lineup have to dislodge Michael Lord. Let's see if today finishes with a winning score above 141. Two questions each in the first round. One correct answer from you to survive. And we start with John Meadows from Gloucester. John. Which television newscaster has been appointed by Gillian Shepherd, the Education Secretary, to head a campaign to promote correctly spoken English? Trevor MacDonald. Jake, what's the state capital city of Western Australia? Perth. Mel, how long was the original lease that will end in 1997 when control of Hong Kong reverts to China? 99 years. Anne, please. A merger was announced in October between the TSB, the Trustee Savings Bank, and which other high street bank? Um, Lloyds. Yes, Lloyds. Drew, what's the married name of Princess Alexandra? <coughs> Ogilvy. Ken, the National Health Service. For what would you be applying if you used form FP95 or in Scotland EC95? Prescription uh, release. You're on the right track, but you've got to be more specific. Um, you don't have to pay your prescription charges. No, it's a prescription season ticket or prepayment certificate. <coughs> Christine, which London station is the main London terminus of the Great Western Trains Company? Waterloo. <coughs> Paddington. Jim, which saint was in the 12th, 13th century founder of the largest monastic order in the Roman Catholic Church? St. Jude. <coughs> St. Francis of Assisi. Mary, Ullswater. Skiddaw Forest and Wordsworth's home, Dove Cottage. Which national park are they all in? Lake Districts. Clifford, famous film roles. Charles Lawton in 1935, Trevor Howard in 1962, Anthony Hopkins in 1984 have all played which historical character in films? Captain Bly. Bill, please. Which government department has responsibility for immigration? The Home Office. Chris. Xenophobia describes an irrational fear of what? Foreigners. Yes, or strangers. Ken? Paleography, spelt P-A-L-E-O-G-R-A-P-H-Y. Paleography is the study of what? Bones. Ancient and medieval handwriting and manuscripts. Tara, pop music. The name, please, of the road in North London, which was the title of a Beatles album. Abbey Road. David. It was designated a royal spa in 1838 after a visit by Queen Victoria. Which Warwickshire town is that? Bath. <coughs> Leamington Spa. John, your second question. Sport. In match play golf, what does dormy three mean? Don't know. <coughs> it means three holes ahead and three to play, so it still could end in a tie. Jake, books. A pale view of the hills. An artist of the floating world, the remains of the day, for which he won a Booker Prize. The Japanese-born British author, please. I don't know. Kazuo Ishiguro. Mel. Charles Dickens. In the Dickens novel of the same name, what is the business of the firm Dombey and Son? Printers. Shipping. Anne. 
Paul Morell. Paul Morell is the hero of which largely autobiographical novel by D. H. Lawrence? Gosh, I should know, and I can't remember. Sorry. <laughs> Sons and Lovers. Sorry. True. London, which memorial to a 19th century royal consort designed by George Gilbert Scott stands in Kensington Gardens? <laughs> the Albert Memorial. Ken, the United States. Louisville is the largest city and Frankfort the capital of which of the United States? Kentucky. Christine, the Bible, the book of numbers. What was remarkable about Balaam's ass? It could speak. Yes, it spoke. Jim, television. Who is the author of Jake's Progress, seen on Channel 4 this autumn? Sorry, no idea. Alan Bleasdale. Mary, benefits. What is the maximum number of hours a person may work in a week and still qualify for income support? 16, I think. It is. Clifford, politics. Tim Egger. Anthony Nelson and Lord Fraser of Carmyle are ministers in which government department? Um, um, agriculture. Trade and industry. Bill, physics. What term or word is used in physics to refer to the ratio of the work got out of a machine to the amount of energy put into it? Effort. Efficiency. Chris, American literature. Arrowsmith. Main Street. Elmer Gantry. The American author, please. Tennessee Williams. Sinclair Lewis. Ken. Depicted in many of his paintings, which small town in Berkshire was the birthplace and home of the English artist Stanley Spencer? Cookham. Tara, please. Shakespeare. The name of the deposed Duke of Milan in The Tempest, who, being a powerful magician, brings his enemies to the island where he is living in exile. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Prospero. David, the last question, chemistry. Which chemical element is named after the inventor of dynamite? Nobelium. Yes, or nobelium, yes. <laughs> Two down, 13 to go. Laura? And they are Drew Buddy and Jim Stonia. And of the remaining 13 contestants, only one still has her three lives intact. Question number one for you, John. What's the current cost of a licence for a black and white television set for one year? £49. <laughs> Not even the BBC dare ask for that. £28.50. Jake, sport. Which event has been won in the past by teams led by the Australian John Bertrand, the Americans Dennis Connor and Bill Koch, and in 1995 by the New Zealander Russell Coots? The Yachting World Yachting Championships. The America's Cup. Oh, yes. Seven. Christine, science. What does the word diatomic mean? Contains two atoms. Yes, consisting of two atoms. A molecule, for example. A number, please. Um, Thirteen. Ken, what connects Stoke, Desborough and Burnham with parliamentary procedure? Their seats whereby you can retire or resign. Oh, well, you're not exactly right, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. They are, in fact, the three Chiltern Hundreds Chilton to which hundreds. MPs apply when they want to retire. Yeah. Give me a number, please. Three. Art, painting, Mel. Whose portrait of his friend, Angel Fernandez de Soto, sold for over £18 million in May of this year? Goya. Picasso. Again, please, Ken. One. The US presidency, John. Who was the first US president to be elected to the office twice? Lincoln. George Washington. Nine. Mary, pregnant women often have something called pica. What is pica or a pica? Something to do with blood pressure. It's an abnormal craving for unsuitable food like coal or earth or hair. Again, please. Ten. The British monarchy, please, Clifford. Who was the last person to come to the throne, having been born in 1841, heir apparent? Edward the... Uh, George the Fifth. You were right first time, Edward, Edward the Seventh. Seven. <laughs> Again, please. Four. And Anne, television, BBC Two, Delia Smith's Winter Collection. Collection of what? Um, cookery. 
Well, yes, oh, recipes. Sorry. recipes. <laughs> Give me a number, please. Um, number 14. Tara, the actresses Jolie and Natasha Richardson. Their father was the film director Tony Richardson. Who is their mother? Vanessa Redgrave. A number, please. Six. Finance, please, Ken. In any one tax year, what is the maximum you can invest in personal equity plans? Perhaps. Six. Six hundred pounds. Nine thousand. Again, please. Nine. Sport in the USA. Baseball, Mary. What name is given to the playoff between the champions of the American League and the champions of the National League? I haven't got a clue. It's called the World Series. Again, please, Tara. Four. And religion. What was the given name of Pope Adrian IV, the only English Pope? Pope Pius, no. <laughs> Nicholas Breakspear, his name. Again, please. Uh, three. Weaponry, Mel. Weaponry. SLBM are ballistic missiles launched from where? Submarines? Yes, under the sea. A number, please. Uh, number 11, please. Shakespeare, please, Bill. Romeo and Juliet. How does Juliet kill herself in the play? Stabs herself. Yes, after first failing to poison herself. Again, please. Uh, number three, please. Mel, what surname connects Samuel, the inventor of the spinning mule, and Richmore, the author of the Just William stories? Sorry, I don't know. Crompton. Again, please. Four. Natural history, Anne. Which family of primates may be red ruffed, black and white ruffed, or ring tailed? Monkeys. There Fair are four, no, apes. Well, monkeys are, in fact, um, a form of primate. I want the form of primate. Um, no? No. Lemurs. Sorry. Sorry. Again, please. Um, number six, please. The USA, Ken. Cheyenne is the capital of which state? Arizona. Uh, Wyoming. Bill, please. Number seven, please. Literature, Christine. The writer H.E. Bates. What did that H.E. stand for? <sighs> Harold Edward. Uh, Herbert Ernest. Again, please, Bill. Number nine, please. Law. English law, Mary. What term is used to refer to evidence which suggests that something has happened but does not give firm proof of it? Hearsay. Circumstantial evidence. Again, please. Number ten, please. Clifford. Television. Which late-night ITV programme is hosted by Wendy Lloyd and includes reviews of new video releases? I have neither. It's called The Little Picture Show. Bill, please. Number seven, please. Christine, what place does a lady called Emily Davison have in the history of the emancipation of women? She was uh, Emily Pankhurst before she married. <laughs> <laughs> or after. <laughs> no. Emily Davison was the lady who threw herself under the king's horse uh. in 1913. Again, please. Number 14, please. Science, Tara. In its simplest form, a chemical reaction in which oxygen is gained is called oxidation. What name is given to the reverse when oxygen is lost? Deoxidation. Uh, Reduction. Again, please. Uh, number 13, please. Art. Painting, Ken. 23 years after completing the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel, Michelangelo was commissioned to paint the altar wall. What is the subject of that painting? The mother and child. Uh, the Last Judgment. Bill, please. Number 15, please. Awards and decorations, David. Tria Juncta in Uno is the motto of the Order of the Bath. What does it mean in English? All three together. Well, the answer on my card says three joined in one, which I suppose is all three together. <laughs> Number two. Jake, in which mountain range is the tiny principality of Andorra situated? The Pyrenees. And number, please? Fourteen. Tara. Three men were President of the United States of America during Winston Churchill's two terms of office as Prime Minister. President Franklin Roosevelt was one. Who were the other two? Eisenhower and Truman. Yes, the other way round, but they were the two. A number, please? Number 11. Bill, the equator passes through six countries on the continent of Africa. Two of the six countries, please. Nigeria... And... No, Gabon, Congo, Zaire, Uganda, Kenya and Somalia. Again, please, Tara. Uh, number 12. Chris, ancient Egypt. What would have been contained in a canopic jar, spelt C-A-N-O-P-I-C, -C, canopic jar? I don't know. The internal organs of the mummy. Tara? Number 2. 
Television and sport. John Barrett and Mark Cox are television commentators on which sport? Tennis. A number, please. Eleven. Books, Bill. The Road to Litchfield, Moon Tiger and Cleopatra's Sister. The author, please. Sorry, I don't know. Penelope Lively. Again, please, Jake. Uh, Fourteen, please. Medson. Mogigraphia or Mogigraphia, M-O-G-I-G-R-A-P-H-I-A, is a form of cramp associated with what activity? Athletics. <coughs> Writing. Writer's cramp, it is. Again, please, Jake. Number 13, please. Ken, the main street in the centre of which European city is the Via del Corso? Rome. A number, please. 15. David, blazonry, blazonry, is the art of drawing, deciphering or describing what? Heraldry. Yes, coats of arms, heraldic arms, a number? Number 12. This is Parliament, the House of Commons. Chris, the holder of which office is ex officio chairman of the House of Commons Commission? Prime Minister. The Speaker. As it has to be at this stage, it is 12 down, 3 to go. And after the break, Jake Wallace from East Grinstead in Sussex, Ken Little from Wilmslow in Cheshire, and David Thornley from Bolton in Lancashire will be here for the final. Do please stay with us. Who says you can't have the best of both worlds? Hank Marvin plays the best of Cliff Richard. 16 brand new recordings of Cliff's most popular top 10 hits. As only Hank can play them. Hank plays Cliff. Out now on CD and cassette. The Foot Spa from Remington. It'll make you smile from head to toe. Determined to quit smoking, mm. you've never tasted a gum like mm. new nicotine L gum. Mm. No tastier way to quit. Stomach acid. Traditional indigestion tablets can neutralize it. Pepsid AC controls it. This Christmas at Curry's, you'll find our biggest choice of gifts ever. Brilliant ideas for presents at Curry's low, low prices. Something for all the family. For your biggest and best Christmas ever, come to Curry's because only Curry's bring you all this. Don't miss one of the world's most beloved fairy tales. See the lavish production of The Nutcracker on Ice, starring Russian Olympic gold medalist Oksana Bayul and Viktor Petrenko, and Stephen Cousins as the Nutcracker Prince. For two nights, Friday and Saturday, 5th and 6th of January at the London Arena. Book now on London 0171538 These prices are very low, Mr Jackson. Yes. You'd expect to pay this for brands you've never even heard of. What exactly are you getting at, Matthew? Well, couldn't we charge a bit more for them, then? We could. Don't tell me. But we won't. Quick save. Keeping it simple, saving you money. Hello? Steve, hi. I've checked the inventory. Here's the situation. I can do 25,000 units. I can give you the top 10 sellers in margin. I can give you the top 10 sellers in volume. I can break it down by category, by week, by store, by garment. Come, Come in. I will be a minute. You could double your sales. Miss, do you mind? What do you mean nobody's going to wear chartreuse? I'm going to wear chartreuse mohair. I'm wearing it now, as a matter of fact. Would you send me an email to confirm? This is very good. You won't regret it. Three surviving contestants in today's 15 to 1 final are Jake Wallace, a chief immigration officer from East Grinstead in Sussex. 
He works at Waterloo Station for the Eurostar trains, and his three main hobbies are walking, archery, and research into electoral statistics. Ken Little, a retired textile manager from Wilmslow in Cheshire. He used to make trimmings for men's clothing until his retirement just over a year ago. His main interest is bridge, but he also writes short stories, and a few years ago he had one published. And David Thornley, a rental executive from Bolton in Lancashire. He works for a security company, and in his spare time, he enjoys photography, swimming, playing golf, and spending time with his two young daughters, Jennifer and Helen. Thank you. Welcome back. Jake, Ken, David, fingers on the buzzers, please. A winning score above 141. Sir Alastair Morton, the British co-chairman of which company? David? Eurotunnel. The Royal Family. Who is the only British monarch this century to have two of his children succeed to the throne? <coughs> Ken? George V. Yes, Edward VIII and George VI, his two sons. The name, please, of the Italian fashion tycoon who died in October of this year. <coughs> Paolo Gucci. The Conservative Party Conference. What's this about? On October the 13th of this year, William Hill was offering five to two against for six minutes. Other bookmakers offered three to one against for five minutes or less, three to one for seven minutes, seven to one for nine minutes, seven to one for 11 minutes, and 10 to one for 10 minutes. What was the subject of that betting? David? Ovation for the Prime Minister. Yes. They eventually settled for, paid out three to one for under five minutes. Because I think somebody brought in Land of Hope and Glory too soon. Set up under the Water Act of 1989, what is the NRA? Jake? The National Rivers Authority. Which 19th century prison reformer's rehabilitative principles were outlined in her observations on female prisoners? David? Elizabeth Fry. Indeed. Three correct answers, the choice is yours, David. Question or nominate? Nominate Ken. First published in 1823, which is Britain's oldest surviving medical journal? The Lancet. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Jake. Jake, what's the unit of currency used in South Africa? The Rand. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate David. Quotations, David. Children aren't happy with nothing to ignore, and that's what parents were created for. Which American poet and wit wrote that little verse? Uh, Ogden Nash. Again, please, Jake. Uh, Ken. Greek mythology. Who slew the Minotaur in the labyrinth? David. Theseus. Jake again, please. Uh, David. David, sport and tennis. Who is Britain's Davis Cup captain? Mark Cox. David Lloyd. Again, please, Jake. Question Ken. or nominated? Ken. Medicine. If you suffer from anosmia, A-N-O-S-M-I-A, -S anosmia, which of your senses have you lost? Smell. Question or nominate? Nominate uh, David. Shakespeare, David, in terms of the number of lines, which role, with more than 1,500 lines, is the most demanding role in a Shakespeare play? Macbeth. <laughs> Hamlet. <laughs> Two of you left. Ken, the choice is yours. Uh, I'll take a question. The actor Tony Booth, who played the Scouse git until Death Has to Part, has a famous son-in-law. Who? Uh, Blair. Yes, Tony nominate. Blair. Question or nominate? Uh, nominate Jake. Sports sponsorship. The 1995 Rugby League World Cup was sponsored by which building society? Halifax. Question or nominate? Ken. What name connects a district in south-east France, a winter cabbage with wrinkled leaves, and a theatre in London, formerly the home of the Gilbert and Sullivan operas? Savoy. Question or nominate? Question. Films. The film, A Simple Twist of Fate which stars Steve Martin as a reclusive cabinet maker who adopts an orphan girl, is an updated interpretation of which George Eliot novel? Mill on the Floss. Uh. Silas Marner. Fingers back on the buzzers, please. Which famous building was built for the favourite wife of the Indian Emperor Shah Jahan? Jake? Taj Mahal. Question or nominate? Ken. Sport. Who described his own style in the phrase, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee? Muhammad Ali. They don't float like that anymore, do they? Jake. <laughs> no. Jake? Which Hollywood film star has the nickname The Muscles from Brussels? 
Arnold Schwarzenegger. John Claude Van Damme. Again, please, Ken. Jake again. From which London mainline railway station do the Gatwick Express trains run to Gatwick Airport? Victoria. Question or nominate? Ken. Literature. Rat, mole, badger and toad are characters in which classic children's story? Wind in the Willows. Yes. Toad of Toad Hall, dramatised version. Uh, question. The Bible. In which language was the New Testament originally written? Hebrew. Uh. Greek. Well, young Jake, here we are. 52 is a winning score, but there are two lives left and 17 questions. Let's see if they can find you a place on the finals board. Still the New Testament. Gifts symbolising kingship, divinity and mortality. What were those gifts? The gifts of the three magi, the which, three wise men. Which were, which, which were, and what were they? Gold, frankincense and myrrh. That's what I needed. Television, CNN. The 24-hour news service. What does CNN stand for? Cable News Network. Which decade was this? Frank Sinatra made his London concert debut. The Mousetrap opened in London. Commercial television began broadcasting. Which decade of this century? The 1960s. 1950s. What term is used to describe all those countries of Central and South America, including the Caribbean islands, whose inhabitants speak a Romance language, usually Spanish or Portuguese? Latin America. The phrase, according to Hoyle, has become an idiom for correct usage. In which specific area is Hoyle an accepted and well-known authority? Card games? Yes, indeed. Television. Who, for the last 24 years, has been the object of composed desire in Last of the Summer Wine? Uh, Nora Batty. Yes, Cathy Staff. In the United States, Warren Harding and Calvin Coolidge served as president, the St. Valentine's Day massacre took place, and Wall Street crashed. In which decade of the century did those things happen? In the 1920s. Yes. Theatre. From a play by Samuel Beckett. Estrogen. Let's go. Vladimir. We can't. Estrogen. Why not? Vladimir. We are the next three words. Uh, Waiting for Godot. Uh, well, there you are, Jake. A winning score of 112. No place on the finals board, but certainly an invitation to come and join us in the spring of 1996. Thank well you done. very much. Thank you. <laughs> and we'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, 4.30 Channel 4. See you then. No 15 to 1 fan's Christmas stocking will be complete without one of the puzzle books. Out now for £2.99 each.